Hi, I'm Bijan with Gay Friends in Calgary. Today we're here at Fairy Tales Film Festival's office, and we're here to talk about the 13th annual Fairy Tales Film Festival. So, Jessica, how are we going to be doing this uh, the Fairy Tales Film Festival? Where is it held, and can you give us some more information about it? For sure. So this year, Fairy Tales is turning 13, and like a true 13-year-old, it is full of attitude. It is full of sexual angst. Uh, it is full of sassiness. Um, but it, it's a good, it's a good teenager. It um, also um, has a healthy rev reverence, I would say, for those who have gone before, and uh, respect for those who, the wisdom that comes with aging, as well. So Jessica, we've got some cans in front of us that I honestly am absolutely in love with. Can you tell us a little bit more about where they came from and the labels that are on them? Absolutely. So um, the, the slogan itself comes from a friend of mine who used to always say, ah, labels are for soup cans. And I was like, mm, that's, that's good. That makes sense. And then I, I be, I'm a large fan of Andy Warhol. So I said to my designer, I said, soup cans, labels are for soup cans. Andy Warhol, go. And then he came up with this. Um, and this is actually like, honestly, one of his first draft almost. So we were really on the same same wavelength. So that turned out really, really wonderfully. And of course, I didn't expect the marketing campaign to be as successful as it is, but everyone loves it. So we took it as far as we could. And we have stickers and we have dog tags and we have, uh, of course, our little piggy banks, um, which all function as a fundraiser for the organization, um, but uh, also are a lot of fun and get people thinking. And you know, we had uh, we've had feedback from people in Toronto who've been on our website, people in Edmonton. Um, one person took our image and put it on their blog, and they had like about I think it was a it ended up being around 400 and something comments on the on the image, and some people were just like, yeah, I hate labels, and some people were like yeah, you know, I really like my label, or defending it, or, you know, just picking up, everyone has a different viewpoint on it. And uh, so it's kind of nice, and it generates conversation, so it engages people, it's not just a, a passive image. Alrighty, so you mentioned fundraising, so there's, you mentioned, so there's dog tapes, which I have one of, I'm sure I've got it around here. Excellent, thank you. I <laughs> am a proud homo. Oh, <laughs> those ones went really fast, they're hard to get. They yeah. are very hard to get, they're, they're going to start to become collectible sooner yes, or later. Yes, they are. And you mentioned soup can, so what else is there then? Uh, well, there is the, we do have stickers as well, um, which are just fun, I, I'm a big fan of stickers myself. Um, we will have t-shirts too, those are coming in about a week, and um, our volunteers will be sporting them at the festival so people can see what they look like. Um, and uh, we got the main cans made into t-shirts, of course we couldn't resist. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a mascot. I have to say that the mascot is the cutest thing I've ever seen. A little soup can dancing everywhere. I know, that mascot's a happy accident. <laughs> where, did you, where did you guys come up with the idea for that soup so can ridiculous. mascot? That idea I have to credit solely to Sandy Summers. She made the trailer for this year's festival and her idea was well, can we have a mascot? And I was like, what would the mascot be? And she was like, a soup can, of course. So we made this mascot only for the trailer. And then, of course, we realized it's a great marketing idea. And the reason why we realized that is because when they went out to shoot the trailer, they went out to Stephen Avenue. And uh, it was uh, one of the nicer days in April. And uh, it was warm, and people were at, on their lunch hour doing their thing. And people were crazy about the mascot. Like, they could hardly shoot the trailer. They, people were lining up to take photos with the mascot. They were waving and dancing. And actually, the mascot got caught in the middle of a flash mob. So that's one of the trailers. She made seven different, she got so much footage, she made seven different versions of the trailer. One of them is the mascot being caught in a flash mob. So basically, these people start handing out flowers and start like singing. This guy's playing guitar. And then all of a sudden, they just start dancing because it's a flash mob. And the mascot's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, the mascot is, is turning into be a hilarious and happy accident, as I say, but very popular. That's awesome. Well, I really hope to see the mascot on all of those days. It will be there every day, unless it's raining. And even then, it'll be inside the theater. <laughs> um, yeah, Fairy Tales turns 13 this year. You can uh, check out most of the films at the Plaza Theater in Kensington, as always. And um, also, our opening night gala is at the Plaza, our closing night gala is at uh, the Uptown downtown. And our Dan Savage event, our special event, our celebrity celebrity guest appearance, is happening at Vertigo Playhouse on 9th Avenue. Already perfect. You can pick up the program at our office. We have some here. We also have the program at the Plaza Theatre. Club Sapien has quite a few right now. Um, and the Uptown has some. So all of our venues, Vertigo, Uptown, 
Plaza, and of course all the coffee shops in the city and anywhere where you can put up a poster, um, you can absolutely have a program guide uh, pick it up and everything you need to know is in here, and uh, including ticketing information, website information, all kinds of things. Already perfect. So don't forget to pick up your program at any of the locations um, from around Calgary. Come out and support Fairy Tales Film Festival. You can get one of these awesome little cans, a dog tag, or any of the other wonderful things that they've got here. So come on out and remember that labels are for soup cans.